All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta, learn form validation by building a calorie counter, step 42. All right. So each entry will have a text input for the entry's name and a number input for the calories. To get a count of the number of entries, we can query by text inputs, okay? So to get the count, we're gonna look at the text input, so the names, I guess. Uh, we're gonna note that we cannot query by number inputs as we have an extra number input for the user's calorie budget. I guess it is possible to query by the numbers, but we can't on this one specifically because we have a uh, uh, this budget there. I, Here's the game plan, guys. Uh, we're going to go through these until we're finished with this uh, function. And then we're going to take a, a good long look at this thing to see exactly what it's doing. Because I don't know I'm, if you you might be way ahead of me, but uh, I still am very clueless on what's going on right now. So let's keep going. So we're going to pass the string input at type equals text to the query selector all method. Pardon me. Uh, we're going to remember that we will need to use single, pardon me, single quotes for our string. So we're going to wrap this in single quotes uh, so that we can use double quotes within. So it's this is wrapped in single quotes so that we can use these double quotes right here. All right. And this is going to return a node list of all the text inputs in the form. Uh, we can then access the length property of the node list to get the number of entries. Uh, and we're going to do that on the same line. All right. So for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to put this string inside of this uh, area as the argument, right? So we'll start with the single quotes. We'll do input and then we'll do the uh, brackets. Whoops, whoops. Brackets like that. And inside the brackets, we'll do type to pay type equals and then double quotes. And inside of here, we'll do text like that. And that should take care of that. And now we're going to do the length property on this whole thing, on this whole thing right here, All right? So after this uh, parenthesis, the closing parenthesis will say dot length like that. And so if we come down here and do a console.log, console.log uh, entry number, I mean, we haven't put anything in there yet, but if we do the function call add entry, add entry like this, at least we've got something. All right. We've got zero. Uh, we'll be hopefully we'll be passing something into this later. We'll see what we do later. But let's get rid of this uh, function call and the console.log. Check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 43. And we'll see you next time.